guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing fine because today we're back with another interesting topic about mathematics. But before we start, let me first introduce myself. My name is Karen Joy M. Punsalan, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering at Bataan Peninsula State University. I had my internship at Smart Communication Incorporated in Hermosa, Bataan from June to July 2019. In the same year, I've attended the Global Korean Scholarship for ASEAN Countries Science and Engineering student in Mokpo Maritime University, South Korea from July to August, awarded with an Award of Excellence for Best Research Presentation. I guess now we're all set. Let's start our discussion. Now that we know how to read numbers and name its place value, now let's try writing numbers in expanded form. To write number in expanded form, we write the value of the digit in the number and add the value of the other digits in the number starting from the highest value to lowest value. So to understand this, let's have this number. So remember to always start from the highest value to the lowest value. So in this number, we have 3 in the 100,000 place value, which is the highest. So we write the value of the digit in the number. 3 in the 100,000 will be written as 300,000. So we need to add the value of the other digits. So next we have 5 in 10,000 place value. So we will write plus 50,000. 6 in the thousands place value will add 6,000. 8 in the hundred place value will add 800. 3 in tens place value will add 30. So 5 in the ones, we'll write that as it is, plus 5. Now, if you're still having confusion, let's try this method. We have 3, 5, 6, 8, 3, 5, like the number a while ago. So 3 is 100,000 place value. We simply add five zeros, so that gives us 300,000. Plus, in the 10,000, we have five, so we simply add four zero. That gives us 50,000. In the thousands place, we have six, so we simply add three zeros. That gives us 6,000. Then, we have eight in hundreds, where we simply add two zeros. So adding these two zeros give us 800. In our tens digit, we have three. So just add one zero. Now that gives us 30. So in our ones, we simply put it as it is. So we add five. So as you can see, we just add decreasing number of zero starting from five. So in whatever method you are comfortable with, you can use it. So let's have this example. We are asked to write this 585,234 in expanded form. So to do this, we have 5, which is in 500,000, plus 8 in the 10,000 place value, that give us 8,000. We have 5 in the 1,000 place value that give us 5,000. 2 in the 100 place value that give us 200. Then we have 3 in the 10 place value that give us 30. And 4 in the 1 place value that simply add 4 in our last digit. So as you can see, if you know how to name this and know its place value, you can simply identify how many zeros you need to add. 
so let's have this another example. Listen very carefully because here is another point we need to consider. We don't need to write the values of 10,000, hundreds, and ones anymore because they're zero. Again, if the number is zero, we don't have or we don't need to add them. So to answer this, we have two in the hundred place value that give us 200. Since the 10,000 place value is zero, or we don't have to add it anymore. So let's proceed with one in the thousand place value that give us 1,000. And zero in hundreds, and we have eight in the tens place value that give us eight. Zero value is in ones. So we don't have to add this. Because adding zero also give us the same answer. We have this final answer. So remember, I'll repeat it once again, that when the number is zero or the digit given in the place value is zero, we don't have to write them or we don't have to add them. Now, let's try this. Again, you can post this video and try to answer the following to see how well you understand this topic. First, let's write this 376,984 in expanded form. So 3 in the 100 place value give us 300,000. Plus 7 in the 10,000 place value give us 70,000. Six in the thousands place value give us six thousand. Then we have nine in the hundred place value that give us nine hundred. We have eight in the tens place value that give us eighty. And lastly, we add four as it is for it is in the ones place value. Let's have this another number. Let's try. Writing 79,001 in expanded form. So since the hundred and tens are in zero, remember, don't have to put it anymore. So we have seven, which is in the tens place value. So that gives us 70,000 plus we have 9 in the thousands place value that give us 9,000. So again, we have 0 in the hundreds and tens value. So finally, we just have to put 1 in the end in the, for our 1's place value. Now, let's try this. 501,501. So to read this, we have 5 in the 100 place value that give us 500,000. Again, we don't have to write this 0 in the 10,000 place. Then we have 1 in the 1,000 place value that give us 1,000. Then we have again 5, five in the 100 place value that give us 500. And again, our 10th value is 0. And lastly, we have one in the ones place value. Let's try to write this 8,430 in expanded form. Eight is the highest place value, which is in thousands. So we write this at 8,000. And we have four in the hundred place value that give us 400 and add the tens, which is three that give us 30. So again, we don't have to put the ones place value because it has a value of zero. And that ends our discussion for today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you for listening. But before we end this, 
If you want to know more about Expert Guide Tutorial Services, please follow our Facebook Expert Guide Review Tutorial Services or subscribe to our channel Expert Guides on YouTube. I hope to see you soon. Remember to keep safe always. Bye-bye!